This is the third of a series of short videos discussing big data. They're designed for those looking for a high-level view of this space. My name is Kathy Chung, and today I will continue to talk about big data technologies. As mentioned last time, big data technologies today often refer to Hadoop, NoSQL, real-time streaming, machine learning, or others. Let's focus on NoSQL for the next couple minutes. What is NoSQL? SQL is short for Structured Query Language, which is a special purpose programming language designed for managing data held in a relational database management system. NoSQL, commonly interpreted as not only SQL, is an umbrella term for a broad class of database management systems that relax some of the traditional design constraints of relational database management system. NoSQL is a new way of thinking about a database. NoSQL is not a relational database. A NoSQL database can handle the sort of unstructured, messy, and unpredictable data that our system of engagement may require. So if we are to meet goals of more cost-effective scalability, flexible trade-offs of availability versus consistency, and flexibility of data structures that don't fit well into the relational model, such as key-value data and large graphs, NoSQL can help. NoSQL databases typically don't offer ACID transactions nor full SQL dialects. ACID stands for atomicity, consistency, isolation, and durability. NoSQL database management systems are useful when working with a huge quantity of data when the data's nature does not require a relational model. The data can be structured, but NoSQL is used when what really matters is the ability to store and retrieve great quantities of data not the relationships between the elements. The NoSQL taxonomy supports key value stores, document store, big table, and graph databases. The NoSQL ecosystem is very large. There are more than 120 NoSQL databases to date. Two better known databases, HBase and Acumolo, are more closely tied to Hadoop. Another well known one, MongoDB, uses a document model, which can be thought of as a role in a RDBMS. Why no SQL? It's high performance with high availability and offers rich query language and easy scalability. There you have it. No SQL in two minutes. Thank you for listening. Joining me next time to continue to talk about big data technologies.